Presenting the report to Governor Muhammad Umar Jabrila, the chairman of the panel Joshua Atik revealed that 120 lives were lost, 58 injuries sustained, 5,300 persons displaced, while 517 farmlands and houses were destroyed. The panel discovered forceful grazing of cattle on unharvested farms by armed foreign headsmen, encroachment of cattle routes and grazing reserves by farmers among the major causes of the frequent clashes. It therefore recommended the setting up of a National Farmers Headman Commission to deal with the issue more professionally and the immediate massive purchase and deployment of relief materials under the supervision of a special tax force to the affected communities of Tambo Manga, Tambo Jimo, Yoldekohi, Kogurahati, Kodmun, Mboi and Co villages. It also recommended children of the orphaned be placed on government scholarship up to university level. Our National Assembly members should also mobilize their colleagues within the sub-region and address farmers' husband clashes jointly. They can do this through sponsoring bills collectively on the, on the problem at the National Assembly. They can also engage their colleagues at the ECOWAS Interparliamentary Union level, while Mr. President engages his colleagues of the neighboring countries like Chad, Niger, Cameroon, Benin Republic, and other countries, neighboring countries, through bilateral and multilateral relations on farmers' husband clashes. Governor Mohamed Majabrila, who commended the Committee for a Job Well Done, said government will look into the possibility of implementing its recommendations. He therefore appealed for the people to continue to coexist peacefully so as to enjoy more dividends of democracy. Ibrahim Muhammad, 26 News.